One of the many tests we perform at APRC is the detection and quantification of pesticides on the LCMS. When testing for pesticides, the LC instrument runs a gradient solution of two liquids. Mobile phase A is an ammonium formate and formic acid in water, while mobile phase B is ammonium formate and formic acid in methanol. The two liquids are pumped in percentages through the tubing of the LC. After the pressure stabilizes, the software is used to initiate the injection of the sample. The auto sampler in Tower 2 pulls one microliter from the sample vial and mixes it with the gradient solution of A and B. The mobile phase helps the solubilized compounds to pass through a column packed with a solid phase. Our instrument has the capacity to host six columns in the column oven. Each column has a different matrix, particle size, pore size, length, and width to allow for different kinds of testing. For pesticides, we use biphenyl column. This column effectively separates the pesticides based on their mass and affinity for the mobile and solid phases. Once separated, the compounds are moved to the source. On the mass spectrometer, the sample moves through the capillary, a needle with a hair's thickness opening, and is sprayed out. The sample is turned to a very fine mist in the ECI source. The nitrogen carries the ionized analyte through the hot interface, a metal block that is 350 degrees Celsius, which is perpendicular to the capillary. The sample is carried by gas through the rest of the MS. The ionized analytes pass through to Q1. Q1 filters and separates the pre-selected parent molecules from the rest of the ions. In this case, the parent molecules will be pesticide molecule if it is present. In Q2, the collision cell, the parent molecules are hit with magnetic and electric energy to fragment the parent molecule into daughter ions. The daughter ions are filtered in Q3 and passed to the detector. Each molecule had a unique fragmentation pattern. The mass of the parent and daughter molecules are measured and recorded. The mass of a specific parent molecule and the mass of a daughter molecule are specific, predetermined numbers. For example, using the optimization and tuning experiments, if a pesticide parent molecule has a mass of 142 m over z and a daughter molecule of 93 m over z, this information will be used in the multiple reaction monitoring table to specify what the instrument needs to look for. If the daughter molecule is recorded with that mass, it means the pesticide is present in the oil sample. If the daughter molecule mass is not predetermined number, the parent molecule is not the pesticide and is not present in the sample.